Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Cooking for the Yum of It. Today I'm going to be making a bittersweet chocolate cream. So let's get started. First thing we do is pour some hot water into the insert of your slow cooker up to a depth of one inch. Okay. I decided to do this dish because you know I've I've done plenty of uh, main courses: soups, stews, pork, pork chops, chicken. This is the first uh, dessert I've made for my show, and I'm hoping it comes out well. Then we place the uh, insert that the bowl will be going on in a moment. Now first we take, one moment, sorry for the delay, first we take two tablespoons of white sugar, put that back, now we go with three large eggs, One, two, uh, it doesn't matter if the eggs, the yolks break or not, although if this, no I don't think any chips got in there, uh, if, now we go Two cups of heavy cream. Oh, it does not look good. One quarter cup of brandy. Eight ounces of bittersweet. This is bittersweet, not semi sweet chocolate. There is a difference. And one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Okay. Let me get my teaspoon here. Quarter half teaspoon. I think I may have gotten a couple of extra drops in there, but no worries. get our whisk and we, pardon my language, whisk the hell out of it. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, anyway. As I was saying, a few people, some of my 33 subscribers so far, asked if I knew any good dessert recipes. So I looked up in the book I'm currently working my way through and came across this one for bittersweet chocolate cream. I got the Always try to keep things clean as you go along. Okay, now let's change a few positions here. place the bowl in our slow cooker and place the lid over the bowl, over the slow cooker. And we plug this baby in. 
and we set it on. Da, 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 da. Place this actually surprised me, and that's the wrong plug. Go manual, we place the temp on high, and we start. Now we're going to come back in uh, one and a half hours or until the chocolate melts. So I'm going to come back in uh, probably an hour to see how the chocolate has melted so far and we'll uh, make any adjustments necessary at that point. See you soon. Okay, it's now been one hour and as the recipe said, it looks nice and foamy on top. Well, not very foamy, but we'll give it a good stir here. Well, the chocolate does appear to be melting. give it another 30 minutes and I'll be back then. Okay, it's now been one hour and 26 minutes, not exactly an hour and a half, but I'm not going to quibble over four minutes. This part is just something I'm going to do because I don't want mess, messy chocolate and cream and sugar going all over my countertop. Okay, now let's whisk that up, see how lovely and chocolatey it's turning. The smell is fantastic. Okay, now this part, ooh, look at that. Yeah, you're still, it's still in the camera range. Okay, I'm going to save that and oh, I can't resist. Mmm, that is good. Now, this is how it was shown in the picture in the book. I'm going to pour this after I get the, because the bowl is very hot. This is going to get poured. Okay, that's one. See, and I was good idea not to uh, do this on the counter because it's going to be a little messy. If this had one of those uh, spouts, it would have worked out a lot. Oh, there's a little bit more I didn't see there. smaller whisk because there's some there's a little bit there on the bottom that didn't quite get mixed in. I forget what I was saying earlier, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now, according to the recipe, if I had the smaller size ramekins, this would make enough for eight people. But it's just me and my two roommates, so I'm going to put them in these mugs. So there's enough just for three. Let me get my uh, scraper and unplug the slow cooker while I'm at it. 
It's also time to put these oven mitts through the, uh, give them a good wash. them and I'll be putting these in the refrigerator for about an hour until give give the uh, chocolate time to set at which point I will be topping them with some home whipped whipped cream using up the last of the heavy cream that I bought okay it took a little longer than I thought to uh, set but it seems to be nice and firm now so the next step is to whip our cream. Okay, uh, most people probably use uh, would use Cool Whip for this part. But I figure if I'm going to do it, might as well do it right, using the left what's left of the uh, heavy cream I bought. Now, I've never done this at all before, so it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes to whip the cream until it's a uh, nice. Uh, until it's the right consistency for topping the dessert. So here, let's go. done yet but mm. you can see that it is starting to get to the correct consistency but we're going to keep going and I won't make you watch the whole thing so I'm going to cut out for a minute okay the cream mm. has now been thoroughly whipped so our next step is to get our chocolate, our bittersweet chocolate creams, and top them each after I get into the correct camera position. Some of our freshly whipped whipped cream. Oh, that ploppy sound in it and this looks so much better and no, no offense to cool it but this just looks so much better This one could use a little bit more. Oh. I ended up stopping the whipping process before 
I thought I would need to, so the timer that I had set it for originally has just gone off. So uh, there we are. Let's, let's start eating. Okay, now my favorite part of every episode, the taste test. Mmm. Oh, that is... That's heaven. Mmm. That, that is, that, that, I'm sorry. That is magnificent. Mmm. I would tell my friend Anne, if you're out there, Anne, I think this is better than a fruit trifle that we could get at uh, the Grey Goose. I'm sorry, the Fox and the Goose. I keep getting the name of that restaurant mixed up. Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. I hope you uh, try making this yourself, and I hope you all enjoy it. And always remember, eat and enjoy.